one martial arts belt scheduled for three three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Coming to us from Titusville, Florida. He weighed in at 208 pounds. This is Nicholas Narciso. Oh, wow. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the right corner. Representing Port St. Lucie, Florida. He weighed in at 213 pounds. This is Dylan Man, what, a, what an awesome setup for this fight. This fight has beef for it all over. These two guys do not like each other whatsoever. In the blue corner, Nicholas Hollywood Narcisco, red corner, Dylan Blade. And these guys have been waiting for this for quite some time. And they get straight to it. With a, oh wow, with a suplex. Right to the ground. Bladen has been boxing since he was 12. Karate, boxing, and now training an American top team. Man, you can really feel that movement, man. I can feel the vibrations every time that these guys are, are, hitting, the floor, are hitting the ground. These two heavyweights made a lot of noise and rumble when they hit that ground. So, I mean, we have a, a ground fight. Uh, and sometimes you get that with the bigger guys. Like I said, sometimes they get down and, and it takes a while for them to get back it's up. It's a lot harder to get up when you're that big. That's absolutely. Heavyweights take longer. Now, we are st we're seeing a lot of that strategy. Oh! So and he rains down big. Yeah, and so what I'm seeing an issue here is, yeah, he has a close. Oh, they're going to stop. Oh! Right? Close! They're going to stop. He has that. a close Dang. eye on this one. And yep, this that's it. That's is it. all over. Oh! And the Titusville. The first round stopping. And the Titusville native. Has the crowd in shambles. Oh my gosh, that was an amazing fight. Look at that. Oh, right in front of us. Man. Narcissus. They say the cage side's best seat in the house. I disagree. Second row. I don't I don't need sweat all over me. Oh, yeah, we got a little bit. But there. that was beautiful. And, and great job. The killer instinct. And, and, and Narcisco just had the killer instinct. He went right for it. And as you said, they were kind of locked up on the ground. And the moment that he created some distance, just went for it. And he committed. And it worked out for him. Referee Absolutely. didn't want to see any more. And there was a lot of unanswered shots. It not was. even covering up either. Yeah, I know. Like I said, and once again, these the younger guys, they come in here. They forget that it's a fight. Like I said, he had a closed guard. He should have been trying to work his way back up to avoid that position, to avoid that situation. But he kept his opponent in and kept holding him down therefore inviting him to rain damage. Yeah, and, and hats off to our winner, Narcisco. Both men showing some respect there. I, I would assume the beef looked like it was just squashed. Oh, maybe a new uh, beef started here. Maybe a new beef started here. And you do have that sometimes. There's a lot of emotions and a lot of emotions here. And, you know, that's, 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 that happens sometimes, you know, like I said, everyone that comes and watches is not always. All right, we'll get the official announcement here from Jay Pinkham. Let's head into the cage in just a moment here. All right, let's go to Jay Pinkham and we'll get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and one second of round number one, the referee calls a stop to the action for your winner. Out of the blue corner, Nicholas Narciso. I, I, I see you have a lot to say. Hats off to both competitors. Nicholas, this one, a long time coming. You guys finally got it off your chest.
Would you, would say, you say that the beef is squashed at this point? point? You know what, though? I left everything in there. It is what it is. It's all, it's all love in the end. So, so, I just want to say one more thing. This, this is, is my last fight. fight. So, so, that's that. I want to thank everybody that, that came out. out. All, all my boys in Crown College, my little brother. I got my boys in Tennessee, Killzone, Powerade, Brian Fendrick in Arizona. I love everybody here. Melbourne, stand the fuck up! Your winner by knockout, Nicholas Hollywood.